Hi and welcome back to another video of Medic Notes. This video is on types of abdominal hernias. A hernia is defined as the protrusion of part or whole of an organ or tissue through the wall of the cavity that normally contains it. There are numerous types of abdominal hernia, the most common of which are hiatus, inguinal, femoral, and incisional hernia. However, there are a number of less common abdominal hernia that require identification and suitable management, which I will cover in this video. First is the epigastric hernia. An epigastric hernia occurs in the upper midline through the fibers of the linea alba. They are typically secondary to raised chronic intra-abdominal pressure, such as with obesity, pregnancy, or ascites. They are relatively common with a prevalence up to 10%, mostly affecting middle-aged men. Whilst typically asymptomatic, they may present as a midline mass that disappear when lying on the back. Second is the paraumbilical hernia. A paraumbilical hernia is a herniation occurring through the linea alba around the umbilical region, not through the umbilicus itself. The risk factors are raised chronic intra-abdominal pressure, obesity, and pregnancy. They present as a lump around the umbilical region. Generally they contain preperitoneal fat, although they can occasionally contain bowel. Umbilical hernias can also occur, commonly in children, either omphalocele or gastroscosis caused by a failure of abdominal contents to return back to the abdominal cavity during intrauterine development. The third one is the spigelian hernia. A spigelian hernia is a rare form of abdominal hernia that occurs at the semilunar line, which is the tendinous lateral border of the rectus, where the aponeuroses fuse around the level of the arcuate line. Clinically, they present as a small tender mass at the lower lateral edge of the rectus abdominis. They have a high risk of strangulation, and should be repaired urgently. Fourth is the obturator hernia. An obturator hernia is a hernia of the pelvic floor, occurring through the obturator foramen, into the obturator canal. They are more common in women, due to a wider pelvis, typically in elderly patients. Patients will classically present with a mass in the upper medial thigh. And often patients will have features of small bowel obstruction. In around half of cases, compression of the obturator nerve passing through the obturator canal will result in a positive hauship romberg sign. Another type of hernia is the latres hernia. It is a very rare form of abdominal hernia, whereby there is herniation of a Meckel's diverticulum. This most commonly occurs in the inguinal canal, and many will become strangulated. Next is lumbar hernia. Lumbar hernias are rare posterior hernias, that typically occur spontaneously or iatrogenically following surgery. Classically following open renal surgery. They present as a posterior mass, often with associated back pain. Lastly, the Richter's hernia. A Richter's hernia can occur at any of the above sites, and is a partial herniation of bowel, whereby the anti-mesenteric border becomes strangulated. Therefore only part of the lumen of the bowel is within the hernial sac. Patients will present with a tender irreducible mass at the herniating orifice, and will have varying levels of obstruction, purely dependent on how much bowel circumference is involved. Due to obstruction, these are often surgical emergencies that need urgent surgical intervention. That's all for this video. Thank you.